Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply just leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions and you would like to contact me please do so. You can find all of my information right below and to the YouTube description box so please do not hesitate to check it out. Um, you should pretty much find whatever you need and and it will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet um, subscribed to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And I'm always very grateful. Also, I would like you to, uh, not like you, but I would like to thank you for being there. I thank you for listening, for sharing, for commenting. Thank you to every single one of my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Also, I would like to thank all of these subscribers who have donated so generously to the channel. Thank you so very much. Very grateful. So let's begin this reading. Now, uh, these are warning messages by Spirit. You take what's good and you leave the rest aside. So let's start this off. I have five messages. Take what's good, leave the rest. We're going to be speaking here with the cat spirit, the frog spirit, the giraffe spirit, the grasshopper spirit, and we're going to conclude with a groundhog spirit. So let's start this off with the cat spirit. The cat spirit is about you and it's about you though claiming your independence. So this just might be the time that you are facing some kind of um, unpredictable situations. Are you hesitant to take a risk? Are you too cautious to jump into something new because you fear that you can't trust yourself? Now, cat spirit is saying, go for it because you will land onto your feet. And if nothing seems to be going according to plan, there is no reason to worry. Cat spirit loves to mix everything up. And these seeming upsets are going to actually bring you some wondrous and some unexpected opportunities. So what you really need to do here by spirit is you need to get ready as a cat to pounce. And as you may be called to jump into something new at a moment's notice. And at this time, your instincts, they're going to be keen and your intuition is going to be sharp. You need to listen to it. Remember, even a temporary failure can lead to a spectacular success. So you need to embrace the adventure. You are uh, sure-footed and you can simply just trust yourself on this one. And moving on over to the frog. The frog spirit is about clearing out of the clutter. And we all have a little bit of clutter, do we not? So what's weighing you down? This is what spirit wants to ask with this message. Is it time for a spiritual and maybe a psychic cleansing? Are you overdue for letting go of the voices that are surrounding you? Now, they may have started to get into your head and these voices that bog you down and that keep you from leaping forward into a better situation. You need to let others, you need to let them croak and you need to let them create their dramas while you are going to make that space for yourself and for hearing your very own thoughts as they're going to arise. Declutter your schedule. Stop trying to do it all and then, you know, some. Let others manage their own baggage rather than allowing it to be dumped on you. For your lily pad, it needs to be cleared. It needs to be cleared of, you know, all the clutter that you have and of everybody else's clutter that is not necessary for you. This is about also come bearing a message about your physical space. Do you hold on to things because you're afraid of losing maybe your energetic connection to the past or to people who are no longer into your life or to goals that you never pursued? Or could you have these items around because you feel guilty? And if you get rid of them, um, you're going to feel guilty. Are you storage and uh, living spaces? Maybe are they filled with all different kind of reminders of what you're not when they should be holding only objects that reflect who you are and aspire to be? So if something is no longer making you feel joyful, empowered, ex um, excited, Spirit is here telling you to let go of it. Free yourself to leap forward into something new, trusting that you are always going to have what it is that you need. Beautiful message coming from Spirit here. The giraffe spirit is about seeing the big picture. And here we go. 
Is it hard for you to trust in good fortune because you have been maybe hurt into the past when you took a risk? Staying earthbound, it doesn't really offer, you know, offer the, the safety that you seek. And maybe it can only be found only through trusting that spirit is always going to be with you and what's the very best for you. Now, your intuition is guidance from spirit and it's telling you to let go. Let go of what? Let go of your fears. And you need to leap into the abundance and the good fortune that is awaiting you right now. Spirit is reminding you that you can always, you know, just, you know, jump on forward. This is about, um, this is about how you can, um, how could I say this? It's about you jumping on forward and how you can simply be willing, be willing to trust, trust what? The unknown, the unknown and the great mystery that you can't fully understand. And even if you take the tiniest little leap in consciousness to be willing, it's a beautiful beginning. You need to be sure, okay, that every leap you're going to take is going to bring you a new challenge. But you can handle it and you can handle it with spirit as your partner, trusting that, you know what, this new experience is only going to deepen your life with what? With magic, with meaning. And what you need to do right now is you just need to take that leap. That's it and that's all. Um, so what you really also need to do here is about, as we were saying, taking that leap of faith, clearing out the clutter, claiming your independence, seeing the big picture. So are you sticking your neck out too far maybe? Are you reaching too high instead of looking around you to see the conditions on the ground? Your devotion right now to co-creating something new is absolutely admirable. But spirit is showing up now to remind you that you have to look at the whole picture not just those you know those leaves at the top of the trees perspective is necessary now and that means checking in with what is going on around you and at your feet perhaps you're ruminating over the worries of the world instead of paying attention to what you can do right now where you are to bring out the changes that you would like to see so you need, please, spirit wants you to align with your highest good and know that while perspective is very important, transformation begins where you are. Do not get so far up into the clouds thinking about all the big problems that you lose perspective and you forget to do your part. However small that part may be, to start enacting change for transformation is going to begin and it is going to begin, but it's going to begin with you. So we're now going to move on forward to the uh, final message that I do have over here. And this is with a groundhog, the groundhog spirit. And it's about time to let go. Have you been maybe relentless in your efforts to maybe revive something that has just maybe passed its prime and just kind of needs to die away? A situation, a relationship, uh, a belief, perhaps. A belief that no longer fills you with vitality. Perhaps you automatically expect to see the world through a specific lens that's based on, you know, what is familiar. Groundhog spirit has appeared now to let you know that it's time to accept that the past is the past. Allow yourself to feel the loss and the grief if you feel the need to. Any sadness is not going to last forever or overwhelm you. This is about knowing that spirit is with you and wants you to experience joy and excitement again and is going to help you through any transition from the old all the way to the new. Keep your eyes open. Winter always gives way to spring and endings always give birth to beginnings. And right now, you need to let yourself feel your emotions, releasing them to make way for the joy that simply awaits you. So spring and new growth are on their way. They've begun. For spirit is here and spirit is promising this to you. And this, my dear friends, does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that Spirit brought you some very interesting messages that you will be able to use. If you have any questions, you would like to uh, contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If um, you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe button and have yourself a beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will be seeing you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.